Hey guys, it's Will from Pro Training Basketball, and it's the month of March, which means March Madness. So I'm going to break down the most famous shot of the NCAA tournament, and that's the shot Christian Leitner hit to make the Final Four. But I'm also going to break down the move he used. So stay tuned. <laughs> Some of you guys out there might know that I played for Bobby Hurley, the star point guard of that team in college, but also went to the high school, the same high school as Christian Lanier. So I'm kind of smushed in the middle of this, so I have an inside scoop on this play, but let's look at how this play actually transpired. Okay, so for the coaches out there, first and foremost, you see Grant Hill, you got a big man taking the ball out, and you have Kentucky not putting anyone on the ball. In my opinion, that's a big mistake. Christian Lanier was nine for nine in the game, so they wanted to double team him. I always, I always think that throwing that pass is much tougher with somebody on you, and you have a better chance of stopping them that way. So rule number one, just guard the ball. All right, so what happened was they took their four man, pass it down to their five man, and they really used the other guys as a distraction because they wanted to get the ball to Leitner. And it's a smart play because Leitner's an athletic, tall, skilled five man and a big target to catch that pass. Now let's break down the move because the move is actually a very good move. He did not need to dribble, especially with 2.1 seconds left on the clock, but it's a good move. So let's break this move down. It's a move you can use at the high post, you can use in the, sh the short corner, and you can use in the low post. So if you're a big man out there or a guard in those situations, this move is a good move for you. A quick disclaimer about this move. The degree of difficulty is much higher and is not a move I suggest making a go-to move. However, it is a good move to use when you need to get a shot off at the end of a shot clock or a game. And if you want go-to moves, you can check out the top five post moves or the top five create space moves that we have in our description. Now into the move. The move starts off with you catching the ball and ideally landing on two feet. This allows you to go in either direction. In this case, I'm going to drop my right foot, trying to get the defender to move that way. Then I'm going to push off that foot, my right foot, and swing it around, keeping my pivot foot and staying on balance. This is the most important part, but is also the toughest, so make sure you practice this part. And once you get your foot around, you're going to jump up into your shot and you may notice a natural fade to this it's okay but again that fade makes the shot more difficult which means you need to practice it more to become more consistent so be, this move again is a tough move if you practice it great but make sure you become consistent at it before you add this to your game all right that's it for this week hopefully you liked this video if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up down below that helps us out also, if it's your first time watching our videos, make sure you subscri subscribe down below so you're notified when we release more videos, but also check out ProTrainingBB.com where you can get two free workouts to take your game to the next level. Peace.